Our products, they are all produced by ladies. A few of them, they are employees, but most of them, like 3,600 women, are the beneficiaries from our products. So we always provide the ladies uh, with the designs, the raw materials, and they work according to our designs and our raw materials. Uh, of course, uh, when we have more orders, that means we have uh, more ladies working on the projects. And we have also uh, Bani Hamida rugs, uh, where uh, the beneficiaries are divided in 13 villages. Uh, each village is uh, specialized in a job. One is uh, specialized in dyeing, the other one in uh, weaving, and so on, till we get the whole uh, rug. Uh, we uh, hopefully, by visiting uh, the Maison d'Objet uh, exhibition, will uh, open our doors to export to Europe. So in this way, when we have more export, that means more and more beneficiaries are benefiting from our organization. And this is our main goal, and this is what we are looking always for, uh, to empower these ladies and to increase their number. Each item goes through the hands of every single artisan at Sosal. So we have several stages of production and each one, uh, and mainly we employ women who are in charge of these departments. Um, the best thing about the whole business and growing and exporting to the GCC countries now is that it's giving us opportunity to expand internally, um, increase our economies of scale internally and like make use of what we have and even hopefully grow um, in size with the workshop but the most important thing is that every new order we take means we need to um, equate it from the like from a production and when we need to employ more women we try to focus on women because it makes us proud to see women becoming the breadwinners of their families and it makes us proud to see that we have certain case studies where um, a woman in particular paid for the education of her husband um, another woman is a widow and has brought up two kids on her own so to see a development in their personal life is a great uh, reflection on Silsal uh, what we hope to get out of Maison et Objet is uh, to hopefully enter the European market. Um, we're confident that our product is um, well refined, we're confident that our designs can cater to the West uh, because we do get a lot of foreigners in Jordan who focus on our product. So hopefully with this expansion we'll be able to have um, further expansion within the, within the workshop itself and employ more women.